Lauren Boebert is a Republican political candidate and gun rights advocate from Colorado. She is running for the United States House of Representatives in the 2020 elections. In July of 2020, Bo Ebert opened a restaurant called Shooter's Grill in Rifle, Colorado. It is a gun-themed restaurant in which employees openly carry firearms. In August 2020, Lauren Boeber declared her candidacy for the 2020 U.S. House of Representatives election against incumbent Democratic Representative Diana DeGette. She describes herself as a gun rights activist stating that she became strongly involved in the Second Amendment movement following the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in 2012. Bo Ebert has participated in pro-Second Amendment rallies and in 2016 she appeared in a television advertisement on behalf of the conservative organization Rocky Mountain Gun Owners. Bo Ebert has received major endorsements from conservative figures like Senator Rand Paul, former Congressman Joe Walsh, and author Eric Metaxas. In her campaign she stresses the importance of freedom, fiscal responsibility, and a commitment to religious liberties. Bo Ebert has made history as the first woman to ever be elected to the Garfield County Board of Commissioners. She has also campaigned to secure public lands for local control and to defend the Second Amendment. Bo Ebert is a vocal opponent of abortion. She has used her platform to speak in favor of fetal dismemberment bans and parent notification requirements. She is a member of the Fellowship, an evangelical Christian organization that promotes faith-based activism and service. Lauren Bo Ebert opposes sanctuary cities and wants to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. Bo Ebert raised $1.2 million in the first three months of her campaign and has been contributing significantly to her own campaign from her own pocket. She is an outspoken critic of the illegal immigration policies of the Biden administration and has expressed her aims to oppose them in Congress. She also expressed her opposition to the Affordable Care Act and to the Green New Deal, a sweeping climate policy proposal. Bo Ebert has heavily criticized the Biden administration's gun control initiatives and has criticized President Biden on social media. She also recently expressed open opposition to the federal government's attempts to cancel student debt. Bo Ebert has served as a volunteer for Thrive, an anti-drug and anti-alcohol organization based in Garfield County, Colorado. She has done a significant amount of work for the organization, from campaigning to speaking to addicts in their recovery program. Bo Ebert has served on the boards of two mental health nonprofit organizations, the Mental Health Center of Denver and the Colorado Mental Health Associates. Lauren Bo Ebert advocated for petition a language change in the Colorado Constitution which would, if passed, would define a child in the womb as a person. She signed a legal challenge to the Affordable Care Act as governor of Colorado and also filed a legal challenge against Jeff Sessions in support of entrepreneurs. Bo Ebert has publicly supported the nomination of Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the United States Supreme Court. She has also spoken out against Senate Bill 11, an omnibus gun control bill proposed by Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper. 
In the summer of 2019, the American Civil Liberties Union sent Bo Ebert a cease and desist letter for her active suspension of social media accounts that criticized her.